everyone, my name is Lopizio. Welcome to my channel. Firstly, I have to say thank you to all my fans for the birthday wishes. I am so happy and I will say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I must commend you all for watching my videos, for sharing it. Because if not for you guys, who is the key signatures? But you represent me and I have to say thank you once again. So right now, I will be making a simple caftan top using the scarf. Yes, 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 you can make a top with this alone. So if you have any leftover fabric or a very long scarf, you can just decide to make a top. You can rock anywhere, anytime. And how will be showing you how to do that? This is the scarf. It's as long as this. This is it. Can you see that? So all I have to do is to fold it this way. Can you see that? So it is going to be like this on my body. Can you see that? So after folding it that way, the next thing is to fold it this way. Can you see that? I will be folding it this way. Then all you need is the largest circumference of your body. Or you can decide to use your bust and your hip measurement. But since it's a very free top, you can just use the largest circumference of your body, which is the hip measurement. As I said earlier, on, you need the largest circumference of your body. Mine is my hip circumference. So you need half of your arm hole. But because it's a captain top and, and it's free, so all you have to do is to use the measurement from the nape of your neck to under your bust or simply have three to four inches to half of your arm hole. Like for instance, half of my arm hole is 8.5. I would just have three inches or four inches to that. But the measurement of the nape of my neck to my to under my bust is 14 and a half. But I will just make it 14 inches. Which is here. And I will make this into a straight line. So on this line right now, I will insert the largest circumference of my body. So quarter of my hip measurement is 11 inches. 11 inches. So I could just add extra one or just leave it that way. Or better still, you can just use your bust measurement plus two or three inches. So this is my hip measurement, which is here. And I will add one inch for the sewing allowance or for the same allowance. But since you don't need that, you will just sew straight down. So having done that, I will just go to the edge of my top and then use the same measurement. Remember, I use quarter of my hip measurement. That is my hip divided by four, which is 11. So I will do the same thing here, but I will add extra one inch here to make it a little bit free at the hip area. So that will make it 12. And I will take my ruler and join this. I will take to my sewing machine right now and sew this way. So this is how it's going to be. So you will be sewing from here down here. So I will take this exact measurement and put it on the other side here. I, I can know that by this stripe or better still just fold it, make sure this is straight. Fold it over, this is the midpoint. Then I will fold it over and tap it and make sure your chalk shows on the other side. Again, I repeat, you start sewing from here down here. So I will just fold it over again to cut out the neckline. It's folded again, can you see that? So for the neckline, I, I want it to be high but I want it to be wide. So for that, I will use six inches for the width. For the width, I will use six inches. And for the depth, I will use three inches. So for this, I will finish it up with a bias strip. So I will use my hand hole now to connect from here to here. So this will be hot off. In case you want to and hook me here, just a little hook me, which I will not have to mind. So from here, 
just measure about three inches from the neck width because it's wide I use six inches so just measure about three inches and from that you measure about three or four inches to here I measured four let me see that and then you slightly curve it slightly curve it this way so if you want an opening here all you have to do is to take your scissors and just trim this off you also finish it up with a bias strip and then you have a little opening but for me i won't be doing that i'll just cut off the neck fine so this is what i have this is how the neckline looks so i will finish with the bias strip and then sew the sides so for the neckline, I finished it today by a strip. Can you see that? And for the sides, I just had to sew it all through. Then I will show you now how. And this is the result of the cutter top we just made. Can you see that? So beautiful and easy. I'm sure Hobby is going to be surprised when he sees this because this was a gift from him. So if you like it, just give it a try and share with us on our Facebook group Sewing Innovations. Follow me on Instagram and his signatures. And do not forget to subscribe. Bye.